The question is, can someone who has your business have ICL surgery? The answer to that is yes. However, two things are really needed to have a good outcome after ICL surgery. One, we need to be able to get an accurate check on someone's prescription before surgery. And so if for whatever the reason the strabismus is impacting our ability to do that, we can't really proceed with surgery until that gets addressed. And then two, when we're doing ICL surgery, we need someone to be looking kind of straight during surgery. And so um, if someone's not able to look straight, sometimes it can make surgery a little bit trickier or we need to do a few extra maneuvers in order to get the patient to look straight during surgery. So typically what I'll tell patients is try to have the strabismus surgery addressed first. Typically that involves either tightening or loosening one or two of the eye muscles on the surface of the eye to try to get the eye back in alignment. Once the strabismus has been addressed, then let's wait a few months, let the eyes heal and stabilize. Then we can do another check of your prescription beforehand. We can see if you're gonna be able to look straight during surgery. And if the answer to both of those things is yes, if we can get good measurements and we think you're gonna be able to look straight, then you're gonna do great with ICL surgery. An important point to consider is even after the strabismus has been addressed, we wanna sometimes simulate what vision correction would look like either with trial frames or contact lenses before surgery to make sure you're not having any issues with double vision or things like that. But sometimes vision correction surgery can unmask that, which is why it's really important to figure out beforehand if when the vision is corrected, you're having issues with double vision. Because if you're having issues before surgery with double vision, you're probably gonna have issues with double vision after surgery. And as long as we can identify that beforehand, not a big deal if someone doesn't mind wearing glasses with let's say prism built into them, but we don't want that to be a surprise after surgery.